this bill. Kia ora. Mr. Uh, Speaker, uh, it is a uh, it's a, uh, it's a it's a great day, I believe, when we actually uh, there's a couple of things that are happening here. Firstly. Uh, it's great to see the old boys of St Bede's uh, finally outnumbered in the debating chamber of Parliament um, because normally there's, there's so many of them floating around it's hard for any school to get a look in. So congratulations to uh, those old boys of Tipene. Uh, but Mr Speaker, um, just particularly I want to talk about something that is close to my heart with regard to the passing of this legislation. Because this legislation to me, while on one level is referring to a particular trust, it is also symbolic to me of a change that is happening across Aotearoa, New Zealand right now, and that is that for uh, Te Ao Māori, the opportunity to actually take back further uh, control of their own destiny uh, is a positive thing for New Zealand, a positive thing for Māori. As a recent poa to my uh, first mokopuna, uh, it is uh, encouraging to me to be able to see that uh, he will be able to work, work, walk uh, in his Pākehā world but he also is going to be able to walk stronger in Te Ao Māori uh, because of this type of legislation, because of these types of things that are going on. Mr Speaker, I want to commend uh, the Wipere Trust for actually looking to take uh, greater destiny in their own hands to provide uh, to a greater extent uh, for the beneficiaries of their trustee. I want to congratulate uh, the Minister of Māori Development for sponsoring this bill through the House. Uh, to my good colleague uh, Nuk Korako and the, his colleagues on the Māori Affairs Select Committee uh, for bringing this through. Uh, I congratulate them all and commend this to the House. Adrian Rurufei. 